There used to be a whole row of toolmakers factories on the A45 near where I lived in Coventry, which we called the highway. That was a row of them, and um, it seemed to me like I went away one weekend and came back and they'd all turned into Sainsbury's. And that's how we knew that the car industry had gone. Uh, and um, a lot of my people were in those factories, and uh, we had toolmakers in their family. And uh, he told me that uh, I didn't realize this, you probably did, that uh, the car industry sort of potted along in Detroit until 2008. And of course, in Coventry, we used to, people made rather pathetic attempts to call Coventry the Motor City so that it could get some of the exoticism of Detroit which actually isn't very exotic, but maybe compared to Cobb. Anyway, he told me that his father lost his job, and America is a brutal country, and uh, he lost everything, job, house, the lot. And um, he, um, he told his family that uh, they, what they hadn't known was that he bought some ramshackle cabin up in a remote part of the state of Michigan when he'd had a bit of money and um, they didn't know this thing existed, but they all had to go and live in it because they lost their house. And uh, a cursory glance at history tells you that these things happen on a pretty regular basis and people don't ever imagine that they will. So when I was growing up, growing up, nobody ever imagined that the car industry would cease to be what it was in Coventry and no more did they imagine in Sheffield that steel would go down and etc etc in every city including this one and these things all happen quite rapidly and it depends where you are in the lottery of life how much it affects you but it's worth pointing out that if that can happen then it can happen again and uh, it surely will and yet it's unimaginable so what um, i would invite you to imagine is that you wake up tomorrow morning, for example, and discover that there is no longer an IT industry or that management consultancy has ceased to exist. And how distraught we all would be. But these things do happen, and it depends how old you are, but whatever you're doing now, who knows whether it will carry on, even though you can't imagine a world without it. So this song is called Toolmaker's Blues and that's what it's about. skills that nobody wants to use because one man's pile of garbage is another man's trove of jewels how can you be a tool maker when nobody's buying tools when i had a bit of money i bought a cabin in the hills now i moved the family up here Cause I can't pay the bills Motor City Blues comes to haunt me As we sit here marking time Cause you can't rebuild that structure When you haven't got a dime Well it's all a deadly game Somehow I broke the rules How can you be a tool maker When nobody's buying tools
float, not a ship of fools. How can you be a tool maker when nobody's buying tools?